Welcome to the Solo 3 installation video. This video should be used in conjunction with the printed installer guide that comes supplied with the new Solo 3 meter. Please familiarize yourself with the wiring diagram shown on page 8 of the guide. The unit should only be installed by a qualified person. Please check local regulations before installation. Step 1. Installing the meter. The new Solo 3 meter is connected in between the existing utility meter, the solar PV inverter and the consumer unit. It is only suitable for single phase installations. Isolate power from the utility meter before proceeding with the installation. Using a terminal block, connect the neutral terminals together. Take the neutral from the utility meter, the neutral from the solar PV inverter, the neutral to the consumer unit, and the neutral to the new Solo 3 meter and connect them together. Mount the meter securely using three screws. The meter uses wireless radio to communicate with the hub, so it is better to install the meter away from large metal surfaces or within a cabinet. Attach the supplied small antenna to the top of the meter. Now, connect the live from the utility meter to terminal 4 of the Solo 3 meter. And then connect the live from the solar PV inverter to terminal 5 on the Solo 3 meter. Finally, connect terminal 1 of the Solo 3 meter to the live of the consumer unit. The display on the new Solo 3 meter will confirm power is OK and the two LEDs on the top of the meter will indicate that the module is correctly installed. Step 2. Hub installation. First, connect the power to the hub. You will need to connect the adapter pins to the power supply. Simply twist in a clockwise direction until you hear a click. Now connect the Ethernet cable to the broadband connection. The hub may take a few moments to update to the latest internal software. We suggest you wait until the LEDs on the top stop flashing. You now need to pair the meter to the hub. Press and hold the button on the front of the Solo 3 meter. The word pairing will be shown on the screen. Now, press and hold the link button on the hub, the button is on the left hand side, until the icon flashes amber. After a few moments, the link status light will turn green and the hub is now paired to the display. If the light stays amber, repeat the process. Step 3. Display installation. Connect the pins to the power supply, attach the stand to the back of the display, and then connect the power to the display. The display will then show on the screen Pair Hub. As we have a hub as part of this installation, press the left button with a Y above it. Now press the link button on the left hand side of the hub until it goes amber. After a few moments the display will show Hub OK and then start up. You should start to see live data coming from the Solo 3 meter. Depending on the current generation, the dial on the display will illuminate and the current output will be shown with Gen Today. Step 4. Energy Note. The final step for the installation is to associate the new Solo 3 system with an online energy account. As detailed in the installer guide, the homeowner will need to visit the EnergyNote website and create an account. The second step of registration requires them to verify their email address by clicking the link in the welcome email. Once their account is verified, they need to log into the EnergyNote web service and follow the prompts on screen to associate the new Solo3 system with their account. This association is to generate an EnergyNote code. Press and hold the cloud icon on the hub. A code will then be displayed on the Solo 3 display. This code needs to be entered into the EnergyNeo website and the registration is then complete. Part of this association is to generate an EnergyNote code. Please take a few moments to read the installation guide. Support information and some frequently asked questions are located towards the end. Thank you for watching.